here, the shirt. You can paint the background, which you can do a mixture of colors. You can do just one color in the background. After you've painted all those things and it's dry, then you can paint the face. So it's really important that it's dry before you paint the face. Because if you have like a blue background that's wet and you start painting the face, then the blue will bleed into the face. We don't want that to happen. When you're ready to paint the face, um, you need a little clean spot to do some color mixing. So to clean out a spot, I usually just take a little bit of water, not a lot of water, and I'll take my paper towel, and I just make a little clean spot. Okay, that's where I'm going to do my color mixing. Now the colors that you're going to mix are red, orange, yellow, and brown. That's a lot of colors to mix. Red, orange, yellow, and brown. And I know some of your paints do not have red or orange, so you'll have to just find somebody at your table that does. There's enough of them that do that you can kind of share. The first thing you're going to do is dip in the water, get a little bit of red paint. Before I go to the orange paint, you need to rinse your brush off. Now I'm going to get a little bit of orange paint. Rinse it off. Get a little bit of yellow paint. Rinse it off. And then a little bit of brown paint. And you can kind of like decide if you want it more brownish, if you want it more reddish. You get to decide what shade of skin that you want. And you can test it on your portfolio, which I don't have a portfolio to test it, so I'm just going to test it over here. Don't do this on your picture, but that's a pretty good skin color, okay? So you can test that on your portfolio. When you're ready, make sure you use plenty of water and you're painting. Don't forget the ears. Don't you want to put some of that crayon? That way it doesn't go on nope. top of the eyes. Nope. Just paint around it. I go ahead and paint right over the lips and then you can always add another color to them later. I don't want any oil pastel on the face, so don't do any oil pastel on the face. Don't forget the ears, don't forget the neck. If you start painting the face, you need to like complete the face before you do anything else. Don't like start talking to your friend in the middle of painting the face or if we only have like five minutes left, I wouldn't start painting the face because you need to focus on what you're doing. Now see how the watercolor kind of pulls up and it's darker and lighter in some areas? That's just what watercolor does and that's okay. So don't worry too much about that. Don't just keep going over it and trying to make it more even. Well, that's just kind of how watercolor is. And then you'll let it dry. Don't paint anything else while the face is wet. What I see kids do all the time is they paint their face and then they're like, oh, I want my lips to be red. And they start painting the lips and it just bleeds out and then it gets this like big red stain on their face. So that has to dry completely before you paint anything else. So I would say the face should be the very last thing that you do. Some of you aren't even close to that. I just wanted to show you in case you um, got to that point and you needed to see it. The last thing you're going to do after you paint your skin color is just take your paper towel and just kind of soak it up. Okay? That's all you need to do to clean it out. You don't have to put this in the sink. You don't have to put a bunch of water in it. Just soak it up with your paper towel so that you can close it without ruining your paints. Any questions about that? No. Okay. Thanks.